What's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome back to my channel. So I got the day off today and I really have absolutely nothing to do. So I was looking through my YouTube, looking through my comments and stuff like that. And I actually came across a few comments asking me to talk about my tattoos. Now I've already made videos about my tattoos. Um, when I was 18, I had a whole bunch of them. So about a year and a half ago, I actually made a video about my tattoos and I haven't really got many since. Now, if you go watch my video about school, because I absolutely love school and I highly recommend you go watch it. Um, it's just like a little few tips and tricks and shit, but yeah enough of promoting if you go watch my past video It's actually a video that shows my newer tattoos I have one big one on my knee, which is a start of a Japanese knee sleeve I think Japanese knee sleeves are super sick. Uh, they're like very martial arts and shit um, So I'm gonna show you guys that today because I had a few people ask me about it And I want to be respectful and show them also it gives me an excuse to make a new video <laughs> And then second, based off the title, probably the main reason why you clicked on this video, except, except if it was just for me. But the main reason why you probably clicked on this video in the first place um, was because of the title. Um, yes, I have one really big stomach tattoo. I got my entire stomach tattooed because I really trusted the artist. And it's just awful, and now I have to get it covered up. I'm not going to go too into detail right now, I just want to reiterate and show my past tattoos really quickly because I know tattoo videos and tattoo tours are pretty popular so I know there's going to be someone coming from my ch someone I know there's going to be someone coming that has never seen me before they're like who in the hell is this kid nobody knows who you are which you're right uh, hi my name is Ian and I have a lot of tattoos I'm going to show you hey <laughs> But realistically, YouTube is a massive platform and somebody's gonna watch this video and have no idea who I am and just be curious about the past tattoos that I already have whilst also being curious about the really shitty one um, on my stomach that you're gonna be seeing later. By the way, just to reiterate, I am 20. Um, so I know I have quite a few tattoos at 20, um, but I am just gonna keep getting more and more and more and more and more. This channel is not a tattoo channel. This channel is a me channel and me gets tattoos. So That's what I'm here to show you <laughs> So hopefully you enjoy my already existing tattoos and with that being said, let's get started So the one that people are gonna be seeing the most is actually the one on my forearm It's gonna be on the flexor side of my forearm or the bottom um, of the forearm and pretty much what it is it's, it's just an angel it's a guardian angel that I have um, and I'm always getting asked about it so the artist who did this tattoo his name is Josh Cruikshank he works out of Ocala Florida um, he's a private tattoo artist so you have to contact him you can't really just go there and get something he doesn't do walk-ins stuff like that so with this thought in my mind that I wanted something a really pretty um, and good because it's gonna be on the forefront of my body and B I want it to be meaningful art doesn't necessarily have to be meaningful it can just be art and that can be the meaning and I respect that however if it's gonna be on my body and a reminder and an expression form of myself I kind of want it to mean something so for me I actually got a guardian angel it's a representation of my mom my mom did absolutely everything on her own and I appreciate that absolute f out of her it's a very beautiful very delicate angel but it's got a bunch of wings and a bunch of dark shadows and the reason being i like this style so much is because it's it's beautiful and delicate but also fierce it's it's beautiful delicate it's almost like a statue that the italians made so i've never really like studied italian statue makers so i don't i don't now but one of them so like i said the most popular tattoo i have is my forearm one it's for my mom i love her forever i actually got uh, her initials in it i got like a little a there but i got a little a in my tattoo my mom's name is elisa so yeah that's my uh that's one of my most popular ones as we work our way up you're gonna notice i have like my bicep lettering i'm just gonna show you right here so the bicep actually says indoor fort my dad's side of the family is Scottish. It's very, very, very heavily Scottish, very Celtic. So every guy in my family actually has this crest tattooed on their shoulder, their upper left shoulder um, or delt. And the reason being, it's just kind of like a tradition that my dad wanted to start where we all got tattooed of our family crest. So that's the Lindsay crest. My last name is Lindsay. So the indoor four actually goes along with the crest. It's kind of like the motto. Um, indoor four means to suffer bravely or don't be a 
that's basically what it means in colloquial terms. Um, so yeah, I really like it, but it was one of my first tattoos. All right, so next we're gonna be talking about the ones that I can't see. They're actually behind me, so that's why I'm not gonna try and like, you know, show you and shit. I'm just gonna throw some B-roll in there. So for starters, the most popular is gonna be the 12 on the back of my neck, a Roman numeral XII. Um, it's kind of inevitable not to see it, especially like class or, or work or something, or just people behind me. The reason why I got 12 tattooed on my neck, it was kind of like a free tattoo. Um, it's a long story, but I got the tattoo for free. And basically, every one of my family's birthday is on the 12th, including mine. Mine is June 12th. So number 12 has always been there, and I just really appreciate it and I love it a lot and it's gonna be my number for the rest of my life. So tattoo number two that's behind me that I can't see is the one behind my ear. This one I could probably show you. So the tattoo behind my ear is just a simple little cross. It was simple, easy, basic. It's just a little cross. It represents my relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, that's my life and I'm gonna stick with it and it makes me a better person. <laughs> So moving forward, I'm actually going to show you my leg. Um, my leg is a new tattoo. However, I have old tattoos incorporated in the new tattoo, if that makes sense. A couple years ago, I actually got a big black traditional um, dagger and rose tattoo on my thigh. It was gonna be the start of a black traditional thigh um, sleeve. If you don't know what that is, I'll pop it up like here. There you go. <laughs> but basically what that means is I wanted my entire leg to be black traditional so right next to it I actually got 99 in black traditional as well because like I said I was gonna do a big black traditional leg sleeve um, and then I decided to get a, uh, a knee tattoo and, and that's a funny story about that one so my knee tattoo is actually a Japanese Hanya mask or an Oni mask or a theatrical mask whatever you want to call it let me say this first, it wasn't supposed to be that big. <laughs> <laughs> my artist was like fuck it I'm just gonna go for it yes he told me and yes I agreed I'm just gonna make this thing really big and really nice and and like a crazy leg sleeve that no one's seen before and me being naive I said yes let's do it <laughs> I am gonna touch it up and change it because it is not done by whatsoever it's not done at all I'm a freaking perfectionist so if it's not the way I want it I'm gonna change it or I'm gonna find someone who can change it. It is a theatrical mask that is the re representation of internal emotion and anger. So what that means is when they used to put on plays, whenever they wanted to represent someone who was really mad or, you know, when you're mad, you don't, you're not just mad, you're mad, sad, confused, envious, and you're a bunch of other stuff. So because of that, the Japanese understood this and they created a specific mask or one of one masks where whenever you turn them, they look different emotions they look like they're either crying or pissed off or or confused the different ways you look at them the different emotions they have so as you can see from my uh, Hanya mask tattoo it, it is completely different from most original um, Hanya mask tattoos I didn't want to go the traditional route which is what this is I actually wanted to go more realistic neo cartoon kind of where where it has realistic attributes but it still is cartoony if you know what I mean and then obviously as you can see I have a bunch of beautiful water and flowers and nature surrounding the mask and basically what that is to me is that's going to be a representation that you have to it's okay to have emotion and it's okay to have uncontrollable emotion however you need to surround that with peace and love and flowing water and beauty you have to have a balance <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna be getting on to the sugar of the video and the topic of the video and that is going to be my stomach tattoo. I was the manager of a store, the owner of a store was my very good friend, and pretty much he had an LLC that had different types of businesses, so like a smoke shop, a tattoo shop, um, CBD shop. We had a bunch of different things, um, and one of those was a tattoo shop. And with this tattoo shop, we wanted to be we wanted to be different. You know, we didn't we didn't see ourselves hiring a 20 year veteran who knew everything and was a you know stuck up pretentious tattoo artist. We didn't want that. We wanted to be homegrown and kind of give someone a chance. So the guy we hired was an amazing artist. However, he was very new to tattooing. So it's completely different. The man can draw like crazy, but when it came to tattooing, he didn't really know what he was doing. And me being me, the person who loves giving people chances and loves like business and entrepreneurship and, and starting your own business and thriving, 
I gave him an opportunity to do something big, which was a big old stomach piece, big old Jesus tattoo stomach piece because he was also a Christian. Um, and let's just say it doesn't give Jesus justice. <laughs> take a very hard look at it because I actually was perfectly okay with it for about two months um, until we started adding more and more and more and it just kept messing up and messing up. 90% of the black work will not last. Um, this will fade. Um, I've talked to multiple tattoo artists, professional tattoo artists, um, <laughs> and they basically told me that no, this, this, this one's not gonna last a while. All of the lines are messed up. Um, the Jesus is, is, is kind of starting to blob together. You can't really see his face anymore. Um, <laughs> so like I said, I talked to a bunch of artists and what I would have and what I should have done was made the Jesus a lot bigger with a lot more detail and then a bunch of stuff in the background. The goal for this video of mine was actually a few things. It was A, to highlight my tattoos because I know a few people have uh, been asking me to show my new tattoos. It's been B, to make another video. This is just kind of an excuse for me to make a video to be honest if I'm being real with you. Uh, you know, even though I had a few people ask me for tattoos, tattoo videos are popular, man. So I decided to make another one. And C, I really wanted somebody out there who's watching this to not do what I did. Really quickly, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that I believe can save you from getting a mess like that. Step one, you are in control. So the tattoo artist is going to say, maybe you should do this, maybe you should change that a little bit, and that's okay, they're the artist, they know it's gonna work. Um, it's kind of like going to a barber and the barber being like, hey man, maybe you shouldn't do that. Um, because they, they see, haircuts and they, they barber every day all day you know what i mean so for me i had an idea that was completely different and i was kind of swayed by the artist to do a certain thing um and, and it just wasn't there so if you're going to get a big tattoo or any tattoo if you want something that's going to look amazing and you're gonna love you are in control if they say hey i want to change this flower style and you say no i love that flower style and they don't agree with you leave you have the possibility and the right to not be tattooed by them. And that's actually what I should have learned when I started getting this done. I was such good friends with the tattoo artist that whenever he started making mistakes, he made three by the way, he made three really bad mistakes and I continued to let him tattoo me because I trusted him and he was in control because I let him be in control. If I would have said, all right, man, you literally up twice or one and a half or even the first time hey man you messed up um i, I don't want to continue this anymore i think i'm gonna go somewhere else you're allowed to do that you are in control one of my biggest recommendations if you're ever gonna get a tattoo especially a new tattoo or a brand new tattoo um is to draw it get it designed get it get it concept uh stuff like that conceptual designs and hang it on your wall Hang it on your, your mirror, hang it in your bathroom. If you can see it for three months and still absolutely love it, then you should get it. For my third step, I would honestly just say be patient. But I was 19 and I was working with a tattoo artist and I was managing a tattoo shop and I was getting free tattoos and I was just basically like, yes, more the merrier, more the merrier. Um, and now that I think about it, I should have just been patient. Well, hey y'all, my name is Ian. I've shown you my tattoos, I've shown you my really, really bad tattoo and kind of the story behind it and what you should and shouldn't do if you don't want to be like me with a really, really f***ed up tattoo. So you've seen my tattoos, you got to know me a little bit more. I'm going to continue to make videos the best I can. Um, I'm in college uh, and I have a child on the way, so I'm trying my hardest to make more videos. Um, but hey. My name is Ian. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Make sure to hit the subscribe and notification button. I will continue to post videos and honestly, just have a good day.